Welcome to Jurassic Park. Clock the T Rex at 32 miles an hour. T, -t Rex? Mm hmm. You said you've got a T Rex? Uh huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T Rex. Wow. Well. Put, your, put your head between your knees. <laughs> That's one bit of news they haven't censored. No, oh, it's all over the world. India's non-violence. What can we do? We must end the campaign. After what they did at the massacre, it's only an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. But Gandhi Ji, do you know the sacrifices people have made? We would never get the same commitment again, ever. The whole of India is on the move. Yes, but in what direction? If we obtain our freedom by murder and bloodshed, I want no part of it. Somebody gave me a biography of uh, Mahatma Gandhi you are the and said, would you like to direct this film? And I said, well, you must be crazy. I, I've never directed at all. And the Indian uh, High Commission Civil Servant said, but, but you care about minorities. You care about prejudice. You care. These are the things you talk about. Read the book. I read the book. The um, nominees for the best picture, there were so many wonderful ones. I know it was tough to pick one. So here they are. E.T., the extraterrestrial, a story about the children we all are and the grown-ups we sometimes seem to be. A Universal Pictures production, Universal. Steven Spielberg and Kathleen Kennedy, producers. Gandhi, the biography of a man who brought pride, dignity, and peace to his nation, and who even today inspires millions of people with undying humanity, an Indo-British Films production, Columbia, Richard Attenborough, producer. <laughs> Missing, the story of a futile search for truth and freedom in a land where such things no longer exist. The Universal Pictures, Polygram Pictures presentations of an Edward Lewis production, Universal. Edward Lewis and Mildred Lewis, producers. <laughs> Tootsie, a human comedy of gender and role playing set in the world of contemporary daytime television. A Mirage, Punch production, Columbia, Sidney Pollack and Dick Richards, producers. The Verdict, a story of law and medicine and the human beings caught between them. A Fox Zanuck Brown production, 20th Century Fox, Richard D. Zanuck and David Brown, producers. It should be a five-way tie. Gandhi, Richard Attenborough, producer. The person whom you really honor, as Ben suggested, was Mahatma Gandhi himself. He was an inspiration to millions and millions of people. And the extraordinary thing always seems to me that he is currently still an inspiration. I adore that. I, I had to say I adore Gandhi. Of course, it took 20 years to make, and, and it was received in a way that none of the other films were, and so on. Just the but scale I, of Gandhi as much as anything. Yes, it was. It was extraordinary, uh, enormous. I mean, 400,000 people in one shot on the Rajpath in Delhi. 
extraordinary organization and so on. Uh, but I loved these lovely girls. I loved uh, Chorus Line, uh, which uh, I got great joy from. The best film I made, or that sounds pompous, but I mean it with, with fewer flaws in it, was a picture to, with, uh, uh, called Shadowlands. Mm -hmm. with Tony Hopkins mm -hmm. and Deborah Winger and I think that was as good as it really because of the screenplay it was, it was the most wonderful movie see them and I go oh no, I haven't seen I well it's 25 years since Gandhi won the Oscars and so they had major events as it were in London both at the National Film Theatre and various occasions and so on so I did see it again on the on the really big screen and of course it makes a hell of a difference you know it doesn't really work on television if you have a picture of that scale you've got to have the, the uh, large entity that blows you over, you know. To work in the movies, to, to be allowed to express my feelings and my hopes and my aspirations and so on uh, in the movies, in the cinema, is heaven on earth for me. And I, I would want to go on and on and on till I just fell off the twig and disappeared. Show you.